Hi friends, again with Ruchi Jain with another interesting video in the series of WH questions. In this video, we are going to learn six important WH questions in German. And this is the part three. Okay, the question words which we are going to include in this video are well sure, we feel, we feel a, wessen and so on. So, are you ready to go ahead? One important thing, if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, please do consider to subscribe it and enjoy learning German with Ruchi Jain. So, let's start. Okay, first of all, we are having here the list of WH words which we are going to cover in this video. D. Frage Wörter. Uh, till this time, it, this word must be clear to you. So, let's start. The first question word will be which. That is, well sure and it is the case of masculine. I will clear it later on why I have written here masculine. The next question is again which that is Welsh, feminine or plural. The third question word is again which. So in English we have only which for all these nouns. But in German language according to the noun which is coming after this WH question or Wefrage. Uh, for example if it is masculine noun then it will be Welsher. If it is feminine or plural, then it will be Welsher. The question word will be Welsher. And if it is Neutrum, then it will be Welshes. So, that is why I have written three times which. Which means Welsher, Welsher, Welshes. It depends on the noun which is coming afterwards. So, according to that, we have to use the right WH question or V Fraga. Let's go ahead. The fourth question is how many? How many? That is V feeler. Do remember that. V feeler. Here we are having E. V feeler. Then the next question is how much? Next question word. V feel. So please do take care of these two questions. Here we are having V feel. Here V feeler. So, it is quite similar but only difference is this extra E. Whenever we want to ask a question for quantity, that is how many, when we count it, when we can count it, then it will be we feel a, when we cannot count it, that is we feel. We are going to understand that with some examples. And the last question word will be whose, that is vessel. Whose vessel? So, in this video, we are going to learn all these question words. Let's go ahead. The first one is which Welsher. That is, we, I have already explained masculine noun. Which coat is better? In English, a simple sentence, which coat, simple question, sorry. Which coat is better? So, we will translate it like this. Welsher mantel is better. Fragization. Welsher mantel is besser. So, this mantel is masculine. That is why we have used Welsher. Now, it must be clear to you. And this is a simple sentence. Nominative case. That is why Welsher mantel is besser. Which coat is better? That is how we translate it. Let's take one more example. Which pullover is big? Pullover, sweater in English. Pullover also we use nowadays in English. So, the question is which pullover is big? Now, Welsher pullover is gross. Welsher pullover is gross. This pullover article is there because it is masculine. That is why we have used the question word Welsher in both these places. They are mantel and they are pullover. That is how we translate it. Gross that is big. Let's uh, go ahead to understand the uh, second case. Now, which that is for feminine as well as for plural. So, we will use the word Welsher. Let's take some of the examples. Which jacket you are putting on? 
which jacket you are putting on or you, which jacket you are wearing simple so welche jacke siehst du an welche jacke siehst du an jacke is feminine here that is why we have used the word welche anziehen is the verb so we'll uh, it's a trend bar as well that is why we have uh, kept this prefix at the end of the question we are going to learn all these trend bar as well in the following videos right now you just uh, take care of this welche frage wort welche jacke siehst du an do according to uh, this personal pronoun we have conjugated this verb so welche jacke siehst du an let's take one more example which books do you find good that's a question and here you can see this noun is in plural so let's translate it welche bücher findest du gut welche bücher findest du gut here bücher that is the plural form of books book so that is why we have used welche so this one is for feminine and this one is for plural findes that is the verb finden to find and again do the personal pronoun informal that is why we have used findes do good that is good let's go ahead so the next word is again which but this is welches by welches for neutrum gender so let's take one example which shirt you find better which shirt you find better the translation will be welches hemd findest du besser welches hemd findest du besser fragesation here hemd is das hemd that means it is neutral that is why we have used the frage wort uh, welches welches hemd findest du besser rest of the things i guess clear so i am not explaining it again let's take one more example which dress is your favorite which dress is your favorite that's the question let's translate it welches kleid is dein lieblings kleid lieblings kleid favorite dress welches kleid kleid is das kleid neutrum that is why we have used the word welches welches kleid is dein lieblings kleid ganz klar very clear so do remember these uh, nouns you have to take care of these nouns if they are masculine feminine or neutrum according to that you have to use the right question word okay welches kleid is dein lieblings kleid here you can see it is das kleid that is why we have used welches let's go ahead so the next question word is how many that is we feel to remember that e we feel the question is for example how many apples do you have very simple question how many apples do you have the translation will be we feel a apple has to we feel a apple has to that is how we translate it the next question is how many books have you read how many books have you read we feel a bücher has to gelesen we feel a bücher has to gelesen frage session quite clear bücher for books we feel for how many now you can see here uh, the thing to notice is we feel that is the question word and that comes the noun the word comes at the third position so we feel a apple has to here the verb position is the third here also we feel a bücher has to gelesen the verb position is third so the question word then comes the object and then comes the verb then subject and this is the perfect tense that is why we have written this participle why that we are going to learn in the following videos right now you just remember this thing that uh, with these kind of questions you have to uh, you have to keep the uh, sub 
object at the second position. Let's go. The next question is how much? That is we feel. We feel. There is no extra E. So do remember that. Let's understand this question word with some examples. For example, how much do you weigh? The translation will be we feel we gain Z. How much do you weigh? We feel we gain Z. So that is the formal one. Okay, that is why we have used gross Z or capital Z. Let's take one more example. How much does this book cost? How much does this book cost? The translation will be we feel costed this is book. We feel costed this is book. That book for book <coughs> verb is costed. Here the verb was vegan. Costed and vegan. So the question is we feel costed. This is book quite simple. Here the WH question then comes verb then comes uh, this subject. So do remember the order of the question. Let's go ahead. The last but not the least the question word is whose. That is Vesen. It is genitive case that we are going to learn later on. Right now just you uh, remember this word Vesen. Let's take some of the examples. Whose book is that? Quite simple. Whose book is that? Vesen book is das. Quite simple. Vesen book is das. Fraga session. Whose book is that? Let's take one more example. Whose car is Red. The translation will be Vesen Auto is road. Vesen Auto is road. Road is for red color. That is we say in, in German. Road. And the verb is quite simple. Sign verb we have used is third form. Vesen whose. Auto that is car. So whose car is red? Vesen Auto is road. I think by now you have understood these were, uh, were WH questions or wave rather. So do practice and if you want you can write in comment box uh, some of the questions as a practice. Uh, okay then. Thank you very much. Danke, danke sehr. Please do subscribe my video if you haven't subscribed it yet. And ring the bell. I hope you have enjoyed this video. You have learned these WH questions. Do wait for my next videos. Thank you once again. Bye. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen.